Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to do a little quick follow-up video um, after about 24 hours with the uh, original Surface Duo. Um, I did get um, a few Selfie Guard skins in. Uh, this is this is a uh, pearl white one, so front and back pearl white. Um, and I and I got some uh, Surface Duo bumpers in, and I and I was actually surprised um, they actually fit perfectly. So if you see here. I didn't have to customize anything. Um, it does cover the top volume button just a little bit, uh, but I can still push up, push down perfectly fine. And then right here, on this other one right here, this little piece, it covers the fingerprint sensor just a hair right there, but it still functions perfectly fine. Look, see? So. Absolutely nothing wrong with the buttons. They function perfectly fine without having to do any customization or special cuts. So that was actually pretty good. Um, today was my first full day using it um, um, in a work aspect, uh, and so and so I drive for a living. Um, and I did not have my old uh, phone holder that I used to have. So I had to keep it in phone mode the entire day. And so I remember one of the, one of the main reasons why in the past that I uh, returned this device was because whenever I would be driving, I would have it like this opened up and it, it had a glitch to where as, um, as it moved and it, and it kind of bumped and shook a little bit could, uh, because the road the left screen or right screen, whichever one um, it just decided to do, would turn off to where it would look like this whenever you're driving. So it would be in phone mode like this and then just automatically turn off. And so with me having it in phone mode the entire day, there would be situations where I'd be driving and it would just completely shut off. It would, it would give me this screen, right? So you see it's kind of acting up just a little bit right there now. But it would give me that screen to where it would hit, it would say double tap and I would, and I would try it and the screen would completely turn off. So obviously something with the sensors whenever you're in a car or it's in a, or something like a, a phone mount, it's still having issues with the sensors even after all the updates. Uh, so that was kind of unfortunate. Um, it did create a little bit of an issue today while I was working, uh, just because I have to use navigation the entire day while I'm driving, um, and so, and so that was unfortunate. Um, but I think I may decide uh, to potentially get a um, get a uh, better phone holder, uh, one that, that that I can actually use to where it's open the entire day. Um, other, uh, other than that. Um, that issue, everything else functioned perfectly fine. Um, emailing, texting, calling. Uh, has has a, a really good speakerphone uh, on this phone. Um, yeah, and um, didn't have any kind of connectivity issues. Uh, the battery lasted from 5 a.m. until, as you see now, it is 4.33, uh, and I still have 34%. So that is something... That has drastically improved over the last, uh, it's, it's probably been about two years since I've had this device. So, yeah, and I keep getting this, this random pop-up message here. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, but yeah, the the uh, battery has drastically improved because um, uh, when I, whenever I first had it, but about two years ago, it wouldn't even last through half a day now. So now it's going on. Uh, it's about to be five o'clock. So so 12 hours um, with with about 30 percent left by the time it hits five o'clock. So, um, yeah. So until I get another um, another holder for my uh, phone to, to, to put in my uh, work truck, um, I'm not going to use this as my daily driver just because it's it still feels very um, very uh, uh, what's the word um, it feels very um, 
uh, fragile. Yeah, very fragile just because it is all full glass. So I don't want it, my phone to be sitting in a phone holder like this shaking up the whole time because it's eventually going to scratch scratch the uh, back screen here. So yeah, until I'm able to get a case where I can hold it like this the whole time, um, I'm going to switch back to my uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Um, yeah, but uh, other than that, um, I was uh, pleasantly surprised with the battery life um, compared to what it used to be whenever it first launched. So uh, everything else functioned absolutely great. Um, as you can tell um, from uh, the video from the other day, uh, it's just an excellent, so like this is what I would be normally doing when I'm driving. Not like, it doesn't have to be YouTube directly, but I would just do, um, let's just type in like an, a regular, just a random address. So like Waco, Texas. I would be over here, and then just doing anything I need to do, whether it's texting, I can do like a, uh, I can do voice texting. So that's what I do a lot when I'm driving. I'll, I'll have my headset in, um, and it worked great with um, with my Samsung Galaxy uh, uh, Buds 2 Pro. Um, worked perfectly fine with the with the headphones. Uh, as soon as I as soon as I connected it, every time I put them in, it connected automatically. Every time I uh, put them back in the case, it it uh, disconnects automatically. So uh, so the Bluetooth works perfectly good on this phone. Um, and yeah, I really did miss just the uh, just the sleekness look of, of this phone. Like whenever, whenever you're doing something over here, whatever it is, right? Like YouTube, um, this, this other screen over here just, just makes you want to use it. So it just, it really, really does impromptu you to, to, uh, to a multitask. So yeah. So the uh, first day, um, still, still excellent device. It's just, it's just uh, it's just obviously they um they uh, do have issues with the sensor still on this on this phone um cuz i uh i did have the surface duo 2 um for about 6 7 months um and i never had any issues with that phone whether i had to keep it in a in a uh, phone mount like this or fully fully open i never had any issues with the sensor sort the screens would turn off or not work so yeah, so that was kind of unfortunate today. Um, but other than that, yeah, great device. Really missed it. Um, I was really happy that I was able to use the uh, bumpers from the Surface Duo 2. Again, as you can see. And then on the on the uh, skins, I got this pearl white. Um, I got a matte black, and I got um, a uh, uh, a dark wood design. So I'm just gonna use this for a little bit. And then uh, once I'm uh, once I'm ready, I can change to another one, uh, and it it really does give you a whole a whole different feel. It uh, almost feels like a whole new case on the phone. So yeah, guys, if there's anything specific you want to see again, um, just uh, just uh, put it down in the comments. Um, if you want to see any kind of comparisons, to any other, any other devices that I use, um, just let me know. Um, I am considering getting um, either the OnePlus 11 or the OnePlus uh, 10T um, and trading in my uh, Note 20 Ultra just because um, I like the charging speeds that that phone has. Uh, it has a 120 watt charger for the 10T um, and 80 watt charger for the for the OnePlus 11. Uh, so I am considering getting those phones just because it would help me out a lot. Like if I forget to charge my phone or not, I can just just pop on the charger for about 20 minutes as I'm getting ready and it'll be fully charged for the day. Um, so, so yeah, I'm considering getting that, uh, but I'm also considering holding out, um, for the, uh, for the foldable phone from Google. So I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do. Anyways. Yeah, guys, uh, I appreciate any views. Um, if you could please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, if there's anything you want to see, just put it down in the comments. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.